Hey loves, sincerely Sarita here. How you doing? You good? I'm good. We good? Hey. Uh, JK, I gotta stop. Um, hey, how's it going? How are you guys? I'm good. I'm great. I uh, figured it was time to do a check-in video. I'm long overdue. I apologize for that. I honestly thought that, clearly thought mistakenly that, I'd be able to do these videos more regularly. Didn't really anticipate, I guess, just how much my work load and my schedule was going to just blow through the roof when I went full time with Since Early Sarita. And I'm so thankful for that. So I do apologize, but it's been with great reason. There are great things in the works. Um, so I want to try to keep this video short. I'm not really good at that. I'm going to try it, I promise you, because I do value your time and I want you to, you know, just get your dose and keep going. Um, so, yeah. So, I put up a post probably a couple weeks ago um, talking about how I needed to get this video done. And I, you know, opened up the floor and just kind of asked you all if you had any questions or wanted me to touch on anything in the next video. And I did receive some requests and questions. And so, I thank you all greatly for first for just even follow me on all the social networks and um you know on the site i truly 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 appreciate the support because this is my dream this is my life no no faking no frauding no anything this is my life and i am really taking this risk i have taken this risk i'm in the thick of it right now and um and it feels good to have so be surrounded by support and love and i truly appreciate that so you know, if you got it in your heart to keep keep doing that, please do and, and know that it's making a difference in my life. Um, so, yeah, back to Instagram. Uh, first question was from Miss Africana Chick. Hello, lovely. I hope everything is well with you. Um, she asked, how has your life changed since you started your journey? Um, I'm guessing you're more so focusing on the SS journey, which is at this point over a year ago. How has my life changed? I went from living <laughs> off of $400 a month for me and my two daughters living in a small apartment, the efficiency, um, struggling, not really having a support system, um, you know, just dugging it out, you know what I mean? Like, just out here trying to get it. Um, but I went from that to, to my whole life changing. I'm, I'm literally living another lifetime right now, you know, to look around at the support system I have, to look around at the fact that I went from always being by myself. And I mean, when I first was in Philly, I didn't, I didn't have any friends. I was always by myself. So to go from that to now being in a public spotlight in Philly, um, to having friends. And this is before sincerely, so really even really, you know, um, in, before I even got serious with it. Um, but to have friends now and, and their family, I consider them family. Um, but to have the family here in Philly to, to have developed the network, um, and support that I have here and to be so involved in the Philly scene and, and in life here um, at a, a rate and a level that I had never, ever been involved in uh, prior to since early Sarita. It's really been at some time surreal to be a part of. There have, there have literally been times where I've just been sitting in my room like, how did I get here again? Like, what, what happened? I mean, I know I'm, I'm going after my dreams and I'm tunnel vision, but sometimes when you, you look up, it's like, oh, wait. My surroundings have changed. My house has changed. Like everything has changed in a matter of less than a year. Um, so, so life has definitely, definitely changed since I started this Sincerely Sarita journey. Um, at the time that I got serious about Sincerely Sarita, that was also the same time that I had um, finally made my peace with my life thus far. Um, with my past, with everything that I've been through, um, at, at that moment, I was able to look back and see value in everything, whether it was 
a trauma or or a triumph I was able to see value in it and for me that was the perfect moment to to go after my dreams unlike any other time that I have in life and I'm I'm thankful and, and I'm blessed that I was able to do that because wheels ain't stopped turning since you know you know so yeah life has changed for the better and I'm I'm even thankful for for what I had before this um because at the end of the day if the shoe were to drop tomorrow and for whatever reason sincerely Sarita didn't work or or life just happened you know I still could have peace and I'm thankful for that um second question was from Lissa Marie's do you feel well she's Lissa Marie's on there hi sweetie how are you it was good seeing you at the event that um well, a couple of events, actually. We've been seeing each other. Um, so she asked, do you feel like you do more or less as far as time management? I'm still I'm still working and I'm looking to make my business better, but it seems like it's never enough time. Does it still feel the same way? Time management for me is the most critical tool that I have. I'm a mom. I am an entrepreneur. I am a consultant. I am a lot of things. And I can't be those things without time management. Um, first and foremost, I'm a woman, which means, you know, I need my me time too. So time management is important for me to be able to not only function as a healthy, happy individual, but to also fulfill um, all of these plans and dreams and, you know, all of this love that I have. I, I, I have to be able to do that. And time management enables me to do that. Um, my daughters are eight and four. And they're busybodies. They're always headed here or going there or doing this and doing that. And there's always this work to be done. Um, and then our quality time, of course. And I mean, I can't admit, I can't even count how many times I have a meeting every other day, um, which I love and I'm thankful for. Um, so time management has become extremely important to me. And I encourage any of you who are out there who have yet to get a hold on that, you know, to really figure out how to manage your schedule. And I'm still trying to figure mine out. Please don't think I'm speaking from like this. I have it together. I don't. I am still navigating this um, as I go through this transition period. But um, I definitely encourage you to put more energy into um, managing your schedule and managing, you know, what you want to get done, the time frame that you want to get it done in and holding yourself accountable for doing so. Um, so yeah, so those are the, the questions that I'm gonna to touch on now. Someone asked about a question, um, asked about uh, myself and Ariana doing a video again, and we will, when the time is right. Uh, she just started school today. She's in third grade now. I'm not gonna say anything about old, being old. I'm not gonna go there, so she's, she started third grade today, and she was really excited, so that was a happy moment for me. Um, but yeah, so as far as just checking in, everything is is going, and I'm happy for that. Um, it hasn't been easy. There have been plenty of times, like I said, where I felt alone, and I wasn't because I have a great team. Um, but I felt alone because I knew that at the end of the day, everything kind of fell on my shoulders. You know, I'm the one that's that's leading this. And so that's leading Sincerely Sarita, that's driving this. This is my dream. And so at the end of the day, it's all on my shoulders. And some days you approach that, you approach everything with that mentality and you're like, I got this. It's nothing. It's nothing. I'm about this life. Like it's going to get done. We about to blow whatever. And then the next day, it's like, oh, my gosh, how am I going to do this? Like, I mean, I know I'm going to do it, but how? Like, I, 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 I don't know this, and I don't know that. And I, I'm confident here, and I'm, I'm great here, but I don't know about here. You know, it's just some days are, are more fearful or more fear-filled um, than others. But I don't live for those days. I don't live in those days. You know, I grow through those days and I'm thankful for that. And so as I've gone through this transition, you know, meeting with prospective investors and launching new partnerships and prepping for events and doing the business back in paperwork and 
you know, really nailing down and clarifying what Sincerely Sarias want to stand for and what the impact and the imprint that the SS brand has on the world is going to look and feel like. Um, it's been a, a growing process. It's been a therapeutic process, and it's definitely been a spiritual one. Um, so I'm, I'm good. I'm good, and I'm excited. And as of recently, I definitely received a, I guess, a second wind of sorts in this journey. Um, I feel like my motivation definitely got taken to another level. Just yesterday, I was on a panel for the Bold, Brown, and Beautiful event and shout out to rightleftdream.com because I had a great time and thank you for having me um but before I was about to go up on the panel I got a phone call and it was um some bad news and you know I'm surrounded in a room full of people and of course you're trying to make sure you're conscious of your facial reactions and your emotional reactions and um you know, I took a step outside and tried to digest everything. And I'm like, okay, let me go back in and, and get this done. Um, so I went back in, I got it done. And by the time I got back home, you know, fear had set in as far as the phone call that I had received regarding um, business in, in another area. And I started to wonder and, and fear, you know, I just went full time with with my dream and my family and this and that. And this was one one source of my income. And, you know, what am I going to do? What, what am I going to do? I, I can't. You know, I started to freak out and. I prayed and I said, all right, I know it's going to work out. I know I know, you know, you're going to figure this out. I'm going to figure this out and we're going to keep it moving. And the very next day, which was today, um, you know, something came through and plans got worked out and a goal was set and my motivation is like up again because I know I experienced that fear. And, and so now I had to face it. You know, I had to face um, my biggest fear possibly happening, which was that I wouldn't have the income required to sustain myself as I built Sincerely Sarita. Um, and so I'm thankful that I was protected in that way. Um, but it also showed me the fear that I still have in me and it showed me that I have to be conscious of it so that I can, you know, I can overpower it in a sense and not let that fear overpower me. And so I'm taking that energy and I'm going even harder. And so now I feel rejuvenated and got, got all that off my shoulder. I went to saw, I went to see my doctor today. She told me to stop playing about the way that I'm taking my, taking care of myself so, um, you know, which we were on the same page because when I went full time with Sincerely Sarita, I decided that that meant I was giving it all, my all on all levels, physically, mentally, spiritually. I was just going to another level. And this summer has really given me the opportunities and the challenges to be able to do that. And so I'm thankful. And so that's where I'm at right now. Um, with the fundraiser, we have raised uh, $550. The fundraiser is still going on. GoFundMe.com slash support SS. If you can, please, please, please support. It's making all the difference. I already met with um, the web designer. So that is in the works. We've come up with a concept. And he's getting ready to start that. I'm about to put a down payment. You know, so get that work going. And um, look out for an SS event in September and a few other things as well. Um, been doing some hosting and uh, a couple other projects that I'm not going to speak on yet. But um, your support is definitely keeping me going. So thank you all. We're, we're going strong. I'm happy. I don't regret a damn thing. And I mean, granted, I'm only like two months in. But... I don't really live with regrets, and this is going to be a success, so that's, that's just how I feel you got to approach your dreams. It's all or nothing. If you want to do it, then do the damn thing and give it everything you got because your average isn't good enough when it comes to your dreams. So, All right, y'all. I'm out of here. I have articles to write, interviews to do, but I put that all on hold for you. I love you. I love you. All right, I'll quit, y'all. See you. Thank you. Peace.